Can you walk us through what happened? Because it looked like you got hit, so we didn't know what was going on. No, my, <clears throat> my thumb, forearm, just all started cramping, so my thumb was just locking up on me. I couldn't throw. Um, and then came in and got an IV and was fine. But, yeah, I just pretty dumb. But just need to drink more water and electrolytes, I guess. And uh, I think sometimes when it's cold, you just aren't thirsty. So, yeah, I guess that's probably the main takeaway from the game is hydrate better. Have your teammates already given you a hard time about, about water, or do you think that's coming? Yeah, but I think I'm sure it will be. But uh, <laughs> I think everyone was just happy we won. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. You mentioned last week about how you wanted to follow up with your performance on Monday Night Football with another quality performance. You did that today. What's it feel like to go back to back? Uh, it feels good. I feel like we got some good rhythm going. Um, but I think as well as we put on offense, I thought our line had a really good game. No sacks, a couple explosive screens, ran the ball for 100 plus yards. Um, but I, I think for all these post game press conferences, you kind of go back to the same thing of it's never as good as you think, it's never as bad as you think. So I'm, I'm sure, I know there's some things that. Uh, you know, I, I can improve on, and so that'll kind of be my focus, but it feels better doing that when you won and uh, trying to keep getting better instead of losing and trying to get better, so uh, we'll take it. Just, just, like, uh, just like the other night, you had a bad, you had a bad 20 seconds where, you know, like suddenly the game changed in about 20 seconds. And just like Monday night, you guys didn't, didn't hold the what? Why is it? Yeah, uh, threw a bad pass to Tanner. He tried to make a play on it. He didn't throw it to him in the chest. Um, and they returned it for a pick six. So that was, uh, yeah, it was tough. But I think coming into halftime, it was, and my thought process was the only time that they haven't stopped us is when I threw it to the other team. And so just don't do that and move the ball well. Was that just, uh, did you throw it too far inside of him? Yeah, I was, I thought he, I thought he was going to sit. And then he kind of sit and broke out a little bit. I'm sure he was right. Um, might have just threw it too far inside. And, you know, he goes out and tries to make the one-handed catch and it kind of goes in the guy's lap. But, I mean, I think if I just throw it to him in the chest, then we'll avoid the whole problem. What is the key, Jake, to a 92-yard scoring drive, three others of over 70 yards? What's the key in your mind to having big, long drives? Yeah, I mean, I think there's – I feel like our offense is doing a good job of, of running the ball well, having some plays off those runs, and some explosives. Um, and it, it all seems to be kind of flowing well, pretty, doing a good job complementing each other. Um, I think, like I said, our line played incredible. Uh, I think they were really the consistent force throughout the game. And uh, I think when we do that, there's an opportunity for some explosives. And we obviously got the guys on the outside to do that. Jake, why has the screen game been so good for you guys? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't spend that much time on on screens. Uh, just kind of do my part on it and then, you know, try and sell pass to get, you know, I think part of what they do on defense is uh, limit the explosives. So part of that is they're playing soft, they're running everybody out underneath try and stop, you know, the intermediate to long pass game. And so when you dump off a few and let some alignment get out in front, um, you know, that, that's kind of the game you play when you when you play defense like that is, is some of the underneath stuff's going to be there. And, uh, you know, I thought Chase had a really good run after catch. I didn't, even, I didn't get the best view of it, but went for 50 plus. So we'll take that in the stats. Um, and then same with Joe Mixon. I mean, second week in a row where Joe Mixon is had a big time screen to, to spring an explosive. You guys, you guys have found a style that fits your strengths as an offense. Why has that worked with the process between you and the staff? Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I, I think I would keep going back to I think it really does start up front with Joe Mix and uh, when we're able to run the ball well. And uh, you have to dedicate more resources to stop and run. And, and we have really good skill players on the outside. And, and I think Zach. I feel very comfortable with how everything's going. Zach calling the game, you know, feeling like we're we're staying a step ahead as far as 
you know, run pass, having everything kind of look the same, and mixing in some screens, and it's it's uh, makes my job easy. How much does going under center maybe help everything kind of look the same as kind of keep things? Yeah, I think the, I think the more you can do, the more looks, <laughs> the more looks you present to the defense, and the more that all those looks have multiple things you can run out out of those formations or those sets. I think it makes it difficult, and uh, no, I, think, I feel like we're doing a good job of that. Did you say Chase Brown? Brown? Did you know Chase Brown was this explosive? Have you seen it in practice? Yeah. The past two weeks. Of yeah, I mean, I knew Chase was, was super fast. Uh, gets. You know, when he's running the ball in practice, he does a good job of getting vertical, putting his foot in the ground and being explosive. Um, and so it was awesome to see him. You know, I, I think you saw a little bit of it last week with a couple big runs. And then today with the screen, it's obviously, uh, it's obviously a huge play. And uh, I think he'll continue to do a lot for us. It's kind of nice to have the one-two punch with him and Joe Mixon. And, uh, you know, I think every good offense needs two legit running backs, and I, I think we got that. It's safe to say they complement each other well. Yeah, very. Joe Mixon was just asked if uh, he thinks this is a playoff team. I started his answer by saying, "Damn right." What, what do you think? Is this a playoff team? Damn right. <laughs> so, so, family, so kind of go ahead. Your family got some uh, serious airtime. You didn't see that, <laughs> but they are very proud of you. What did it mean to you to have them on the field or in the box? Yeah, in the box. Well, first of all, it's it is not my box. Uh, I did not buy that in the preseason. Very expensive. Uh, so Joe Burrow was nice enough to uh, give, give them some tickets so they didn't have to sit up in the cold. Uh, you know, we're all from California, so I'm used to it. They're not, so I'm sure they were much more excited in the box. But uh, it, it's awesome to have them here. It was, uh, I think it was two friends from back home, a girlfriend, and then my brother, and uh, my sister and my sister's boyfriend. So it's, it's always nice to have people there, and it's Mostly nice after you win to you know, go grab dinner or something somewhere. Did Burrow say anything when you came back off the field after the cramps? I think he was just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just kind of, just like, yeah, I was kind of embarrassing. But so then you know the whole water. time. So then you knew the whole time it wasn't broken. Yeah, right? I was just, I kept was slowly cramping on me. I started trying to chug water. I think it was too late. I don't know. I think. Starting an idea at halftime, I guess. I'm not sure. It's kind of the same concept on third down to make it a little more. It looked like there was seven, six man protections, uh, the, the third and the third and nine. Yeah, I don't man. think they pressured us a ton. Right. That's, that's not really what they do. There'll be some some games where they, it's all of a sudden a pressure game, but uh, I don't I don't think they pressured us a ton. Partially probably because they're working in a new linebacker and, and they want to make sure that everything's sound. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I thought our third down plan was was good, and um, overall scheme was good. Jake, Jonas said that you guys as a team have been playing looser since you took over as the starting quarterback. Are you cognizant of how much, how you handle situations, ways throughout the locker room in terms of you get tense or tight or things aren't going well, like how much that can affect the team? Like, is that something you consciously think Yeah, about? I think... Uh, I think my relationship with like guys on the team kind of goes back to uh, being here for a while and, and not really being in like a, people are going to approach Joe differently than they approach me when I'm the backup. So uh, you know I kind of get to know all these guys really well on a pretty personal uh, personal level. And so I think now that I'm playing and, and all that, it, we still have that same relationship, and I still feel like the exact same person. And uh, and I think also just genuinely just being myself and you know, I, I struggled to get outside of that. Jake, you said this week over here, um, you weren't going to ride the roller coaster, obviously, all, all the emotions, but you showed some emotion walking out the field with the crowd cheering for you first home way. Was that a little extra meaningful for you, just that moment, to kind of soak that in there for a minute? Yeah, yeah, I think it was, I mean, yes, and, and I mean, I, maybe not, I don't know. It was, it was cool to have. Uh, to get a win at home, you know, last time we had a home game, we put up 10 points, and so it was nice to put up some points and, and get a win. And uh, yeah, I think enjoying those moments is, is part of it. And so I, it wasn't wasn't really well thought through. It was just something that kind of happened. <laughs> the biggest yeah. difference, the biggest difference in the offense since you took over, seems to be the running game, the reliance on the running game. 
Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, a couple times now, our line's playing great football, and I think there's a lot written about our guys on the outside, and obviously they're some of the best players in the NFL too, and Joe Mixon's a great running back, but our old line and tight ends have been fucking their ass off, and I think that's a big part of why we've been successful. How important was that first drive of the second half for you? Uh, I mean, very important, just because I felt like they, they probably had the momentum, but uh, I, I don't really feel that that much as the game's going on. I don't know if maybe I'm the outlier there, but I just feel like the more I focus on doing my job and hold my attention to each play and, and executing each play how I'm supposed to, then it's kind of when I play my best, so I just like to just stay right there. So, so you don't come out of halftime saying, you know, we get the ball here, we need to make an impact score three or seven. Get, get I think every team. drive, I'm just, oh, let's go score. And, you know, everybody should do their job and plenty talented enough. We've got a great play caller, a great scheme, and just do your job. It was, two, uh, it was the first time you get the ball to tee. Was on the first, I think it was one of the first plays of the second half. Anything you saw? You can't remember which play that was. <laughs> Today, Sorry. Uh, so over the last few weeks, you've really focused on, you know, just handling what's immediately in front of you, whether that be the next play of the game or whatever. But winning on a short week two times in a row, two very different ways, can you feel momentum building on this team in the uh, yeah, I mean, this was our first short week. The last one was kind of a long week, and Thursday night game was a long week, and so now we got the two short weeks back to back. And honestly, it's kind of nice because uh, you just kind of stay in the moment. You're so busy trying to prepare on a short week that you don't really have any free. T- the worst thing that happens is, I think, with a lot of this stuff, is idle mind and free time, and so I don't really. Have either one of those on short weeks, and so it's probably an advantage. The play before you took a knee, it looked like you had a receiver down the right side, you pulled it down and scrambled. Was that in the moment, Noah, feeling the cramp and pulling it down and taking off? Uh, I think we. I, no. I, uh, I was going to throw a hitch to the right, and I think he converted it to a go, and so I was kind of in scramble mode at that point. And I really started to feel it like when I threw the one to T, I should give him a better ball, and then he would have 100 yards. Um, but I kind of started feeling it a little bit, and it's kind of too late at that point. So, and then it got to third down. It's like, all right, we need to throw it here, and my thumb is just completely locked up. So, went down. I need to hydrate better. Jake, Zach refers to you as his veteran quarterback. Do you feel like that they're treating you as a veteran quarterback in terms of freedom and play calling and things of that nature? Yeah, yeah, I think, I, I don't think there's much put into the game plan that's like, hey, let's just protect this guy. I think it's, we're calling what gives us the best chance to win. And I think that's how it should be. And uh, that's kind of been my communication throughout the whole thing is, you know, there's certain things I like more maybe than some things that Joe doesn't, I do, or, or whatever, and that's just personal preference. Um, and I think that gets taken into account when, uh, when we're putting, the, putting together the game plan, but I think you see a lot of backup quarterbacks go in, and you know, maybe there's not a lot of confidence in them, so you kind of try to protect them with, let's get the game, let's get the ball out quick, let's call a lot of screens, and I mean, we called a lot of screens and they all worked, but I think that was mostly because we thought they were gonna work. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like I'm gonna keep getting better, and but I feel comfortable. I don't even think I answered your question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>